Masters of the Universe has returned with Masters of the Universe Revelation from Kevin Smith on Netflix. Part 1 is now streaming with the first five episodes. And ladies and gentlemen, we got some stuff to talk about here. We're going to do the classic half non-spoilers, half spoilers. Um, and yeah, some, some stuff went down in this. So if you haven't seen the, the five episodes yet, don't worry. I'll give you a warning when we do get into the spoilers. But, uh... Yeah, so first of all, going into this, with my personal experience, I'm not really into He-Man or Master of the Universe. Like, I've never watched any of the other series or movies or whatever. I've heard of the characters, I've seen a bunch of memes, but that's pretty much it. So I was actually really excited for this series. I watched the trailer, and I thought it looked really good. I was really excited about the cast and everything, and I was really excited to get introduced to this world of Master of the Universe and He-Man and everything. And pretty much that's exactly what I got from the first episode. The first episode, in my opinion, was the best episode because it really did a nice job of introducing me to the lore and the mythology and these characters in like, you know, like an obvious way that was like, oh yeah, that's this person and that person and blah, 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 but also like kind of subtly. So I liked how they did that and it was like a nice introduction for new people to this franchise, like for me, but even though that first episode was so good, I mean, I loved the battles, there were so many battles, especially between He-Man and Skeletor, that was so awesome, and uh, speaking of that, He-Man and Skeletor, the cast, Mark Hamill and Skeletor was awesome, I mean, you, you can't go wrong with Mark Hamill, I mean, at times it was a little distracting because it just sounded like the Joker, but at the same time, it's Mark Hamill, you can't go wrong. And I do actually wish this Skeletor was, like, you know, making some more cringy jokes because, like, like I said, pretty much my main exposure to He-Man and Master of the Universe is, like, Skeletor's cringy jokes in, like, memes and stuff. So I'm surprised that there was, like, none of that here. I, I mean, I get that they're going for a more serious tone, but that would have been hilarious. So I'm a little disappointed about that. But then also Chris Wood as He-Man was awesome. I'm a huge fan of Chris Wood from Supergirl, um, and I think he did a great job voicing He-Man. Um, and, um, yeah, but this first episode, like I said, I loved it until the end because there's a, there's a big twist right here at the end of this first episode and it's a pretty big controversial one. And I, I'd actually watched some other reviews before I got into watching this and I saw something about, oh, there's going to be a big twist at the end of the first episode. And I was like, all right, I wonder what that is. Then it happened. I was like, Oh my god, did that actually just happen? And it did. Um and yeah, I I mm, I I'm not sure how to feel about it. I it's kind of hard to get into without going into full on spoilers, so we'll talk about that more later. But after that first episode, things honestly for me kind of started to go downhill. Like we um we we kind of started to explore other characters and other stories and I mean, some of it was cool, but for the most part, I like my attention just wasn't captivated as much as it was with, with the first episode. I remember I was watching the first episode, and I was so entertained, I was loving it, I was sitting there, I was glued to the TV, but then for the most part, like for the other episodes, like I almost got bored. Like I was sitting there playing on my phone, or like over at the computer, or grabbing a snack in the kitchen, which I mean, snacks, you, you gotta have snacks, but still I like I wasn't really as captivated with the rest of it so um yeah I, again it's kind of hard to get in this without going to spoilers so I think I'm gonna head over that way right about now uh but if you haven't seen the first five episodes yet then you definitely should check it out um just to see that big twist and I I'm gonna check out part two um just because I need to see how things are resolved but uh yeah so spoilers now we're gonna go ahead and get into it Three, two, one. They killed He Man. What? The, what? Like I, I was so in shock after that first episode because literally, the two main characters I knew from this franchise. Oh yeah, He Man and Skeletor. I know them. Then they're both killed off in the first episode. Of of course, or so we think, because then they return at the end. But we'll talk about that more later. And it's like, all right. Um, cool twist, didn't see that coming, but you literally just took away the two main reasons I'm watching this show. And then we go to focus on Tila, which, I mean, she was a cool character, and I'm all for female empowerment and, like, strong female characters. I love Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel and Black Widow and all that stuff, but 
this just didn't feel like the right place to do it because from what I've heard, like He Man, like the original He Man Masters Universe series cartoon was mainly like a show made for boys, and then that's why they made She Ra because that was like the same show but for girls. So I don't get why they would literally kill off like the two main male characters and then focus on the female characters, which again, I don't have a problem with, but they just weren't that entertaining. Like they were honestly kind of cringy and like over dramatic at times. And I, I, I don't know. And then of course, when we do get to the end of the series or no, not the series, but the end of part one in the final episode, we do see that Prince Adam returns and oh yeah, He-Man is alive until at the end, he's not anymore because he literally left e- Eternia or whatever that place was called. And they said, like, oh, if you leave, you die. You can't come back here. All right, whatever. And then he dies again. I, I mean, it was already bad enough seeing it happen the first time. But to see him killed a second time, I mean, at least it was Skeletor doing it. I guess that was cool. And it's cool to see that Skeletor's back and he went full on. Basically, he became the new He-Man. I think that's pretty cool, and it was a cool cliffhanger to leave off on, but again, killing off He-Man, like, it was bad enough when they did it the first time, and then when he came back, like, I wasn't really surprised, but it wasn't really cool, I was like, oh yeah, he's back, cool, but now there's one episode left, and like, what's supposed to happen next, and then he dies again, and it's like, well, what was the point, because again, those were the two main reasons I came to watch this show, He-Man and Skeletor. And Skeletor was barely did anything in the series. I mean, he's set up hugely for part two, so I'm excited to see more of him. But He-Man, again, he's supposed to be like the main character here, and I, I, I don't, I don't even know. I feel like this is turning into more of a rant. I mean, I'm still gonna watch part two because I need to see how things are resolved, and I feel like they, they kind of have to bring He-Man back. Like, like you, you have, they have to, don't they? They, they can't leave him dead again can they like, like seriously how can they kill off he-man he's literally supposed to be the main character so um yeah as you can tell i'm not a big fan of what we got so far but i am definitely interested and intrigued and excited to see what comes in part two but i'm definitely not getting too excited for it because i don't want to get my hopes up because with how part one went, I I'm I don't have no idea how part two is going to go. But like I said, I am excited to see more Skeletor. But other than that, I don't really have much to look forward to in part two. But I'm still going to watch it. Um. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about part one of Masters of the Universe Revelation? What did you think about the big twist of killing off uh, He-Man? And also they killed off a bunch of characters here too. But also, speaking of that, like a lot of the characters they killed off were like like their deaths were so meaningless it was so quick and it was like oh 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 they're dying oh okay g- goodbye i guess but yeah um so yeah what did you think about master of the universe revelation are you going to check out part two let me know all your thoughts and theories and all that good stuff in the comments below and thank you so much for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep you up to date on everything goes on in the movie life